Hello, welcome to lesson three here in Mastering Java. We are working with the concept of an array in Java. We've already learned what an array is and how to construct one and kind of how to uh, pull elements out of the array and, and things like that. Now I want to show you something practical. Uh, a lot of times you'll have an array and you want to quickly uh, read through it and figure out what the maximum value in the array is and what the minimum value of an array is. So uh, what we're going to do is just demonstrate that here today. So let's go ahead and create an array. Um, and we'll call it uh, something clever. Uh, we'll, we'll call it large array, right? And we'll put the brackets to indicate to Java that it's an array. Now the items that are going to be inside of this array are all going to be integers. That's why we have that out there. And I'm going to go ahead and initialize it with values right now. And I'm going to initialize it with 14 values. So 2, 11, 12, 13. It could be anything really, but we'll just start with this. We'll do 15, 25, 65, 34, uh, 54, 99, 76, 87, 10, and 54. And if I've done my math right, this should be 14 numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So you can see this as maybe like the age of people on your, on your neighborhood. Maybe you take a survey of 14 people and you collect their ages. You're building a database or something and you store it inside of this, this array. Of course, integer works nicely for things like ages because you're always going to record it as an integer. So that's the array. And what we want to do is we want to search through this array and figure out what is the maximum age and what is the minimum age. Now we can see right now that the maximum is 99 and we can scan through with our eyes and see that the minimum is 2. But just you have to use your imagination. What if this array were like 10,000 entries long? Then we wouldn't want to do that by hand.